Well, hey, welcome back to my channel. We have dirt all over the screen. Don't do what I just did. Do not do what I just did. Hey, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I just want to give a few tips on ways in which you can be the best bridesmaid ever. Because as a photographer, I have seen at weddings um, that sometimes bridesmaids need a little bit of help with the dress or they're not exactly sure what they need to do because, I mean, how many times are people really bridesmaids in life unless you are the girl from 27 Dresses? Great movie. She had her own kettle of fish to fry because then she had so many dresses, but I just wanted to give you people out there a few tips if you are going to be a bridesmaid, a maid of honor, and um, um, what's the other word? What's the, what's the word where a guy is the maid of honor? A man of honor? No. <laughs> There's a whole movie about this. Why can't I remember the name? You know what I mean? If you have to zhuzh up the dress once in a while in the wedding day, but you've got no idea how to do it, this is where I come in. I talked to my lovely friends over at Princess Dreams. They uh, actually provided the two dresses for my last shoot, which you can see here. It was so beautiful. They are in Berlin. They have a beautiful bridal studio with all these amazing dresses. And they sent me over a little video to show you how you can actually make the dress look good in all the pictures. So currently, big trains and big long veils are really in fashion and so you need to know as a bridesmaid or someone who's helping the photographer or helping the bride even if you're just an assistant how to make the dress look good because what most people will do is they will walk around to one side of the dress and try and pick it up then they'll walk around to the other side of the dress and try and pick it up and try and do this but that is not actually the most efficient way that you can make a dress look absolutely stunning and it's something that needs to be done the whole day otherwise from a photographer's perspective every photo is ruined if the dress is folded over especially if it's a dress like this where you have this long train otherwise if they're going up steps or they're turning around a corner or walking down a path the dress is always going to fold in over itself a little bit so just make sure you have your eyes on the dress during the day and the bride will be so happy that you are doing this for her. So here's the video from Princess Dreams. Make sure to follow them down below as well. I have their shop linked down below so make sure to follow them as well. And this is the little video to show you how you can be a top-notch bridesmaid and always make sure the dress is looking perfect. tips that I want to give you, things that a bridesmaid should always have on her. I think it is just a matter of being prepared because it's not just a day where you get to drink and be merry with your best friend but also to pay attention to little things. So there are just a couple of things that I think every bridesmaid should have in her little purse. Now one of them which I've seen a lot of brides do is just to have a little cereal bar or something, an energy um, bar to eat in case you get super hungry because you're not going to be eating all day. Weddings are pretty long days and there's a lot of alcohol involved usually so make sure that you have some kind of food. And then as a bridesmaid I believe or a maid of honour one thing that you can really do is just have little things in your purse like tissues, hairpins, a tiny bottle of hairspray, the lipstick that the bride wears, unless the bride is carrying it herself. Little things that are just really going to make the day a little bit easier. Now also I know that a lot of people always have like one person at the wedding who happens to have needle and thread on them because you never know what's going to happen. Depending on how you feel your bride is, if she wants to be sewn into her dress in case of emergency. Just little things that are going to help the day become so smooth. One thing that I really also know 
that is important to have on you because I always have it in my camera bag is a small packet of disinfectant wipes. These babies are gonna get you so far because usually during the cake cutting, the plates are not on the table yet and the bride is left or the groom is left with cake in their hands and it gets everywhere. And then right after that, you have another thing like a first dance and they don't wanna be walking around with sticky hands and they haven't got time to go to the bathroom. So as a bridesmaid, I encourage you to put those in your purse and you will be known as the best bridesmaid ever.